Yeah. Okay. Hello, guys. How are you doing? So please send the challenges, premium members, on uh, Chess24. And uh, let's start with the game. Okay, let's go against Dangerous, right? Fine. Yep. Okay, I'll put the music on. <clears throat> okay, Bishop G5 again. D6. Okay, D5. By the way, this setup is considered like instead of C6, maybe D5 immediately is considered like one of the best setups against uh, Trumpowski. Um, let's see how he reacts to this. So, Carlson. Knight usually comes to D7 and F5. It's considered like one of the best setups against the uh, Trumpowski. Um, let's see how he reacts yeah. to this. So, Carson. Knight usually comes yeah, to nine, seven six. and five. It's considered like one of the best setups against the uh, Trumpowski. Oh, moment, just there. Yeah, there's a sound. Yeah, yeah. Now it's fine. Yeah, I just turned it on to see the chat in the YouTube, but now it's fine. Okay, okay. Okay, takes and takes. Yeah, I want to bring the queen to f6, which is a queen to a5, maybe. Да. Здрасте. Хорошо, хорошо, хорошо. Спасибо. Um. Okay, now I'm controlling d5, so it should be better for me, slightly, but not much. Maybe bishop to d5 next. And, um, or bishop f8, g7. Have you seen the games of today's World Cup? Like all these matches? It's kind of... Some cool games, by the way. Carson was so close to win, but he finally just uh, missed it due to the time. Trouble. So that was... Okay, so, okay, bishop to g7, and then bishop to d5, maybe, or queen b6, seemingly fine. Sergei somehow was in trouble against Artemiev, and he managed to escape. Which is uh, which is a good achievement, especially that the position was technical in Artemiev style, and he really had chances to score today. But uh, Sergei somehow managed to defend. 
and just drew the game. She's good for him, but uh, the tiebreak will be hard in any case because Artemis is a very good uh, tiebreak player. You know, like all this rapid and blitz he's very good at. But anyway, it's better than to lose his black and get some bad position like he did today, like out of the opening, like straight. Got into the trouble and yeah. Okay, I don't know why h6, maybe bishop h6 was better, but anyway. Let's put the rook to d, d6 and d8. Yeah, Vidit is, uh, Vidit is doing well. He seemingly is in a good, good shape. And I think now he's very motivated as well. So he's up there, proceeding. He won against uh, AD. Yeah. With it, you know, now if he feels very confident, he has a good repertoire. In the knockout matches, he's a very hard opponent, tough opponent to beat. And uh, it will be interesting to see. I mean, he's having chances, of course. Okay, knight h2 to d8, bishop to e6, and I want to just take the pawn on d4, which is already kind of achievement if I manage to. Yeah, rook is just taking on d4, and uh, white is actually in trouble. Yep. Uh, let me see how the top 10 looks like now. Didn't check it for a while. Karyakin. Okay, I'm somehow tense again. Rafa tense as well with me, 2763. Sergei is 2762, which means that uh, just any game can bring him up to the top 10. And the other guys are a bit more far uh, from the top 10. So, okay, let's take the pawn. Let's take the pawn again. Of course, the end games are good for me. I mean, the two bishops and the pawn as well is telling. Um, okay. King of B5, maybe. Then we should C5. Yeah, he protects against Bishop C5. So can we go something like King G7, Bishop D5? In dominating position of uh, bishops. Pawn to F5 is coming, King to F6. Yeah, taking all the pawns. Bishop is coming back to his seven, king to f6. And black is close to be winning. Yep, king to e5. Four, g3. Okay. Uh, okay. So let me find the opponent and then we can, I can read the chat. Let's go, do some moves. Yeah.
Yeah, bishop f4 and d3. Stable system for white. That has to know his stuff. What is he doing? Yeah. d takes c4 is already a commitment. D takes c4, bishop c4. Gives up the central squares, which is not the, the way to play this kind of positions. Rook to d1, rook to c1. White is slightly, slightly better. With the bishops like this, maybe already the advantage is significant. Yeah, the bishop pair probably gives white quite an advantage here. I don't know, maybe he has to go for rook e8 and d5 and then somehow consolidate in the center. Yeah, maybe this is the right way. Okay, bishop e5, let's say, let's try this so that he doesn't go e5. Okay, d takes. Yeah, this is good. This is good. The right way to play it. Okay, anyway, some fast plays needed probably. Some kind of fast plays certainly needed. Wow. This is a bit too much, is it? Oh, knight a4. Wow, this is maybe strong. Yeah, let's say this was somewhat unexpected. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool, that was cool. Let's see the rest. Let's sacrifice everything. Some little tricks. Six hundred ninety-seven. Okay. Taking the pawns is always good. Knight b6 is coming. Can I? And then rook b7, knight d7. At least con some consolidation. Can I just pick up the rook there? Yeah. Yeah, but was, he played well. He played well at some point. Um, yeah, let me start the game. Let's go for this. Yeah, the knight to f6 and pawn to d6. Yeah, the knight to d4 will be the way to play it, but um, okay, let's try this first. Some tricks, setting up some tricks with c4. C4 is always good to play, right? And here, especially that he misses the, the knight there. Yeah, read the chat fast, guys. 
Um, yeah, I'm reading the chat, but I don't see too many questions. I mean, it's like about CBI raid or something. I'm not even announcing the stream more or less. So I'll have to do so for the next streams for the World Cup, I think. I'll be once on uh, Ilya Levitov's uh, channel, the, the Russian language channel, Chess One, and um, then we'll do the stream on my own, I guess, if I'm able to do so uh, on the laptop. There are not too many people. I don't need to, like, you know, manage the chat now. It's fine. Okay, I'll go with this guy. Yeah, let's go. Not to D2. Um, yeah, just developing now. Castle short. The most important at some point is to play fast. Let's sacrifice everything. Um, Ninety three. Right. Well, yeah, I don't mind if you just uh, if he gives me the bishop on g four. Yeah, I don't know. May go with h5. Yeah, I want to attack with the c on d4, of course, after 95, but now I think I'm having a huge advantage. No, no, I'll be back with the non-serious streams when I'll be on my own. All good. Without the banter, I'll be. More funny somehow. Just I have to manage the chat and then see the board as well, play games and so on. So we can't really talk much. It just becomes like some Q and A from time to time, but also I'm kind of serious here. Because one thing is when I'm doing it on my channel in terms of uh, non-directly Chess24 related, then I can, um, you know, say whatever I wish to. And here I'm a bit more serious guy. Yep. No, I'm not in a bad mood at all. Fine. Mood is okay compared to to Black's position. <laughs> Sit and rush is when Roger went. Yeah, I mean, I'll see. Not sure. Okay, I'll see the G4 was played. Huh? Yeah, this is tricky for black. Queen F7 is coming as well. We'll pick up that pawn as well, and that's it.
Let's take it. Yeah, and then I'll pick the bishop there and we'll take the knight on g3, which is more than enough to claim the victory. Takes. Takes and rookie one. Or knight of five, I don't know. Um, knight f5 possible. Yeah, and queen is coming back, or I'm just taking on h5. Okay, queen b3. Or maybe queen c3. Mm, okay. Queen to c2, maybe. And rook to e1, or maybe rook to f4. Yeah, rook to f4, maybe. Rook f4, yeah. And rook f1. Okay, rookie one. Queen to f2. Okay. Anyway, queen to f2. Yeah, and then I'll pick up the g4 pawn. Rook to f1, and this is even easier because there is a check. Yep. Yeah, guys, Vidi is in a good shape. I like it. I mean, the way he's playing shows that his um, his confidence is growing round after round, and uh, he's a good calculative player. Um, he's usually quite precise in uh, conversion, like in terms of converting the advantage. So now he's very motivated up there. Interesting. Interesting. Of course, I want him to uh, to qualify to win. I mean, Sergei Karyakin, of course. Vasiv Drabeli is there. What did he do today, by the way? So, of course, I'm... Okay, he lost today, yeah? So, he will have to play the tie breaks. But so, for these three players, of course, I'm rooting now. Certainly would be happy to see them qualify or proceed as, as much as possible or even win the cup. Um, Carlson is playing some unstable chess there, from what I could see, which is not good for him. But Carlson is Carlson, so can never can always strike again and play some good chess. Of course, today he was very close to do, to win the game against Wojtaszek, but the time management was so poor. Not usual thing for him. Not usual thing for Carlson, so. Yep. 
Yep. I don't know what I'm doing. Some crazy stuff, but okay. I did the seven. Attack to beat the pawn on e4. C6. And I'll be trying probably to go as usual for my King's Indian stuff with G6 and so on. Or maybe, maybe something like this first to see if I can push B4. I'll be happy to push B4 somewhere. Can I take like this and I play Rook C8? Um, okay, okay. Takes this. Yep. Um, yeah, this looks to be winning, so. Um, the taxi three is coming. Too many pieces up. There is no trouble at all for black here. Certainly, with so many, with so much material up. Yeah. Uh, G five maybe. Let's go. Oh my God. Check, chequito. Too many pieces up. Yeah. Let's go. Number three. Off pister. Here the fast play probably matters. So I'll just have to play faster. Whatever that means. So bishop to g5. And okay. Okay. Carl's bodish stuff. Um yeah. This was kind of line you play against this. Queen a5 and so on, but I don't remember anything to be honest there. But uh, at least I know some basics. So if d takes c4, I'll take on f6, then take on c4 with the knight and then play a3. Yeah, this is what usually happens in this line. So knight c4 and then a3. Um, usually because of the d4 pawn, white is slightly better. So they can even go castle like this usually. So c5 is not working because of knight b5 and a3 stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, this is clearly unexpected. Can I go 95? I'm threatening knight takes b5, right? Yeah. Okay, knight b5. Then knight takes a 6 is coming as well. Yeah, I think I'll pick it up as well. Knight to six. Too many pawns. I like it for white. Queen to a six. Uh, was unnecessary. No, or necessary. Depends on this bishop. Looks it yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is bad for him.
Yeah. No tea anymore. Not okay. Um, let's go. Um, okay, just have to play a bishop sound. Six, d six, and d seven, and all that. Okay, so h six, g five. G4, and rook to G8 maybe, 45. Okay, let's scare him a bit with H5, H4. It's not always pleasant to play against this pawns there. This is not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's go. Let's sacrifice everything. Stage three. Oh my god. Almost pushed the pawn to the other square. So it takes. Okay. Um Okay, let's do this. I had I had an idea after Rook F one to play Knight of Six, but uh, let's try to scare him a bit. and Misha Vitri, if I was better for him. <clears throat> okay, Misha Vitri and Castle. Yeah, then I would be happy to double on the H. Yeah, doubling on the edge would make it kind of just lost for white. Stakes. Maybe queen c5. Wow, guys. Guys, I have an idea. Guys, 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 I have an idea. Guys, 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 guys. Is it working or not? Guys, is it working what I'm seeing? But that's amazing if it works. Wow. Okay, if it works, just let me see. Guys, does it work?
Guys, I don't see. I, I mean, it seems to be working. I'm kind of nervous to play so, but let's try it. Is it working? Yeah, I think it's working. I think it's working, guys, yeah. Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it? Is it? Yeah, but that's brilliant. Somehow, I don't know. I liked it. Never saw this kind of stuff with such, such a hanging bishop. Yeah, I don't know, I liked it somehow. Yeah, it was enough without rook h6, of course, but this is beautiful. No, I think it was winning complete after rook h6, knight d4, rook h8. Knight f3 doesn't help because of rook h1 mate. Takes d5 next. No, bishop d4 is too much. You shouldn't go for this. No, that was a bit too much. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, let's see what he wants here. My stupid, my stupid line that I'm using these days against all of this four pawns attacks. Okay, let's see five. Yeah, and then so there's d5 or a5. Okay, let's take. Try to go for b5 or rook c8. Rook c8 first, and then b5 maybe. Or can we take on e4 somewhere? Um, can I go? Okay, let's play some stupid stuff. No, I mean, not the best move. Not that bad as well. Yeah, okay. Knight h5 was maybe better. Maybe not. 
Ging geht's schon. But now it's like. Oh, okay. Uh, 96, 93, queen b6, 94, 94, 94, okay, okay, <laughs> I mean, I can take on b5 and 94, Okay, let's get two bishops and then see. Something may happen in this tricky position. I'm just playing some nonsense just for fun, which is probably too much. But I don't care. Played some super stupid stuff, but okay. For fun, it's not bad. Yes. Hard to say which one was it, but yeah. Probably some fun. All right. The most important thing is to play fast, but uh, I'm not even playing fast as well. So I don't know what to advise. Just bad moves. Okay. But Rook is at least on the second rank, which gives me some kind of hope. Bishop to e4 next, somewhere in my dreams. Um, can he defend you too somehow? Just yeah, knight h4, bishop before maybe. Yeah, actually, the prediction was right. Can I? Yeah. At least, like um, aesthetically, it's looking good for black. The coordination is good. The king is safe. Knight on h4 is out of play. G2 is hanging, probably black is just winning. Yeah, with Vidit and Danish, maybe uh, if they're back from the World Cup, but I hope that uh, Vidit stays as long as possible. Um. Okay, bishop b7 first. Bishop to e7. Then maybe a6 b5. And then b5 is coming as well. And c5 maybe. Knight on a2 is a bit strange. Uh, doesn't mean it's bad, but it's a bit strange. But doesn't mean it's bad. Knight on a2, I don't like it that much. Okay, 
fast or short. Mm. Okay, can I go for something like this? I should just play for bad placement of the knight on a2, but white center is also good, yeah? So he has his trumps. Queen to c7, rook to c8 would be a normal plan for me. But let's see what he plays here, and then we will decide accordingly. And queen to c7. Knight c5 or knight e5, maybe. Baby. Knight e5. Um, so. Okay, number three. Takes. Okay, I don't know. Let's let's do something. Let's go and d five or whatever. So, okay, d five. Queen to a seven. We should to c five. Yeah, let's take this guy and play for the takes c4 and queen c4. Yeah, very bad, very bad. Queen c4 I wanted to play, but there is rook takes f6. Very bad, but okay. The tricks are all around, usually. Yep. to c8 or d8 okay let's just develop i can take only four but Then F5. Yeah, I think this is winning.
Okay, f5. Queen b2 is coming as well. So rook to c2, can I go there? Okay, knight of two is coming, yeah. Check and rook c1. Okay, so this was this one. Um, you know, let's see what he wants to play there. Let's see what's the way he wants to develop. It's also also important to understand the plan. Yeah, let's see what he wants as a reaction to this. Certainly should go C5 first, but okay. Rook to C8. I don't know. It's not looking too bad, to be honest. Seemingly just fine. Um, bishop to f6, bishop to a6 maybe. Yeah, all he takes, and uh, I'll have to decide if I'm taking with the bishop or the pawn. Let's take this way. I like the way that this three pawn is looking now, but I certainly have to bring the bishop back because knight g4 was coming somewhere. I don't know, queen c8, rook d8, and trying to play for d3 pawn. Playable for both, but. Enough chances for me, I guess, there. Can I take this and play there? Is it a viable option? Mm -hmm. Let's try this. It's playing quite okay.
93. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. That will bring the rook to d8. I don't know. This is unclear position, but slightly probably better for black. Nothing to, nothing to be proud of, but just a playable position. Hard to say, hard to say. Okay, let's try to let's try to play for some count counter play on the king's flank. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking good for me. Rook to d8. To d4. Queen to f7. Yeah, this should be completely winning for black. Next move to F3 maybe. Okay, let's go there and move to F3. Okay. Queen F6 or Queen H3? Mm. No, Queen H3, A5 will be hanging. And yeah, this one we'll take and let's play there. Why not rook D2? Yeah. Even with D1 and Rook D2 was better. Fine. Yeah, this is completely winning for black. Okay, this is clear. Let me see the chat. Uh, no, daughter, no. I mean, I wouldn't be happy if she plays professionally. Well, I had a quite uh, tough life as a professional chess player. It's a hard, it's a hard sport, yeah. I mean, especially on professional level. Many things are hard, I agree, but... Uh, I think I wouldn't be happy that much. <clears throat> and she doesn't want to, so it's fine. No props. Um, let me see. Yeah, about today's Magnus match I was talking about some time ago, but uh, I think that that was quite unexpected from him in terms of uh, calculations. He was not really doing fine.
why players like Emil only play Nidorf and Grunfeld, even though they know their opponents will be well prepared? Well, it's part of their repertoire, and it's very hard on the high level to change the repertoire. You have really to make a huge work in order to change your lines. And um, then it's like a, like a process that takes, like I don't know, one or two years, so they don't have that much time probably to spend on it, but... For some players, it's important. For others, you see, Nepo, I mean, he qualified for the World Crown match with this repertoire, more or less. So why should he change in general? Probably for the match, he will add some other openings as well. Maybe he will stick to Grunfeld. Hard to say. Grunfeld officially is just uh, an okay opening now. I've seen the variations of chess recently, you no know, casting chess and stuff, but um, I don't see why. I don't see why. Yeah, so I'm not sure it's the best uh, to really play this kind of chess for now, but uh, it's fun anyway. Kramnik likes it and he told me it's fun. So also, Anand played against him in Dortmund, so why not? Um, Yeah, I'm generally a tactical player since my childhood, but depends. Of course, my uh, style changes as well. And uh, I try to play more like... I mean, all the players on the top in general, they're okay in both parts, but some are just prone to play tactically, like, for example, Nipomnish as well. He's a tactical player more. And some are just prone to, to be more positional or active positional style like Kramnik had, for example. Okay, this is a very classical line. Black usually goes for 97, 95 here. But he should know his stuff. To play this line well, especially, you should know your stuff. You should know where you put pieces, how do you react to the d5, let's say, if you're going e5. I think I won a game like this against Wesley in some of the online championships. It's a playable line, yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what was the idea. I don't remember the idea at all. And... Uh, Okay, let's go there and see what happens. Too bad it can be. Too good is not either, yeah? Okay, let's see. Still chances to bring some queen to b3. Knight to d2, e4, move to c7. I don't know. Let's see. At least he has to be precise, which is already something. Let's stay. We try to play for some long-term advantage. Certainly the bishop on d5 is, is a dominative piece. So there is a chance. 
to kind of pressurize. Okay, what's the way here? Um, let's go for this maybe. Maybe I can go for some. Rook to D1, Rook to C2 maybe. Ooh, interesting, this stuff. To six or to C one. Then H four, H five, maybe. Wow, this one is not bad. Yeah. This one is not bad at all. Let's try this to play for rook c7. h5 is not a threat now. Rook c7 is coming. So, and I would be happy to bring the king to g3, play h4. But I have to do it in a clever way. But I'm already kind of controlling the C line, which is not a bad thing for white. Exciting game to see the positional way of trying to convert the advantage. Yeah, it's looking not bad for white. At least the pressure is there, which is already already a thing. Yeah, yeah let me see the what's going on in the chat there. Um, can I go H four? Um, yeah, Queen D seven. Okay, King G two. Can I go there? So, the guy seen the guy see by four. So, yeah, I'm um, four is five. It's coming. Yeah. Rook d8. Ship of seven. Rook d8. Ship of seven. Ship of seven. So, okay. The bishop on h7 is a problem. Hardly solvable by any direct means, but it's not yet winning for white. Can bring the bishop to d5 maybe. Hmm. 
Queen to c8, uh, no, no, not to c8. Okay, king g3. Queen c8 is not the way, so should be some kind of. Knight to d2, end of one. More checks. Oopsie, Daisy. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um. Yeah, Giri got kicked off by this, uh, kicked out by this uh, 15 years old guy. But he's a very strong guy, by the way. Yeah. He's a very strong guy. So it's a pity for Anish, but uh, that was a fight. Yeah, it happens. Um. Yeah, the academy I have to take care of as well, of course. But I have uh, some other important issues to take care of right now. But so, yeah, we will see. Academy will be back soon. Wasif well, Durar really, I mean, yeah, he has chances. Uh, I mean, he's having a good opponent in terms of qualifying. There is a good chance to qualify this way. But uh, today he lost his wide, which is very unfortunate. We'll have to play the tiebreak, which is... Tricky, but he's a good uh, practical player, so the tie break also fits him well. Yeah, guys, I'll play. Uh one or two more games and I'll have to go because I have to do some stuff as well. But uh, let's go for it and see if I can manage to play quite fast this game or not. So many banters in a row. Okay, that's three. This one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll take on d5 and play three. Okay. Here I'll play four. Center is the thing that we should take whenever we have chances. Take control over the center. Castle short and. Take second can be three, that was my idea. One minute is there. He lost one minute. Okay. Some time advantage at least. Well, to be fair, that's the only thing I've got. 
some time advantage, which is not maybe very significant here. Okay, let's go fast for this. Maybe h3 somewhere, I don't know. He's having a very stable position in the center. Yeah, I can't say that the, the time is a very significant factor in this one. Not looking too great for me. Maybe Queen should come through C2 to D3. We'll try to play for some tricks. Yeah, no A6 is hanging and there is a chance to bring maybe the queen to C4. I don't know, this is, this is a really strange position. Let's try bishop 6 and 9 B5 maybe as an idea. Creating some problems at least to him. Okay, knight b5. And then d6 is coming. Um, can I go some knight c7 stuff? Is it too much? Queen to c3, knight to d5. Mm. Yeah, this is looking good for me, but okay. Four something. It's looking winning for me, but in a precise way, finishing the position in my favor. Mm -hmm. Can I go to IG5 and, uh, I don't know, okay. Oh no. I think it wasn't the best, but okay. And the twinning. Going 
Twenty eight seven then. Okay. Okay guys, we'll have to go now. Uh anyway, it was too many banters, banter blitzes. And we'll try to come up with some of the streams for the uh, World Cup as well. We'll be once on Levitov's channel for the Russian uh, one. And then uh, we'll do my stream hopefully as well. So thank you so much for playing. And uh, see you soon. And we will think about the other activities. Because I think there are too many banter blitzes that we have played. So we need uh, certainly to vary it with some other some other. Um, things to do you know in this uh, streams and so on thank you so much my friends and uh have a good night bye bye